What's going on everyone and welcome to Movie Important's me review of Rebecca, the new Netflix original movie that's directed by Ben Wheatley. Uh, before we begin, if you like my channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. Hey, if you like this video, awesome, hit the like button and uh, comment below on any video that you watch, including this one. So the movie Rebecca is based off the very famous English novel from uh, Daphne de Mier. Uh, it's actually the second time that's been made into a movie, the first time being the very famous Best Picture winner from Alfred Hitchcock. And uh, it's a story of a character who was actually given no name, just called Mr. Winter throughout the movie, who's played by, in this time, uh, by Lily James. Uh, she is a housemaid for a particularly nasty woman that's very, very rich. Uh, they go to the French River, the French Riviera, and uh, this is where we meet Army Hammer, who is playing Maxim DeWitt in this movie. It was played in Lawrence and Olivier in the original. And the two basically end up falling for each other. They end up getting married, and they move to the house, the mansion, where Maxim Winter lives. And in the process, we meet a character played by Kristen Scott Thomas, who plays Mrs. Danvers. And Mrs. Danvers, of course, is the head of the household. Uh, she is a very devious, kind of skeptical woman. She doesn't really care for, you know, the Lily James character. And the other issue that runs around this house is the Maxim De Winter character was originally married to this little woman named Rebecca, which is the title of the movie. And in... In the long run, there's this aura about Rebecca kind of still kind of having her place around this house, picture frames, all that stuff. And it leads into the Lily James character kind of starting to suspect that maybe the aura or the idea of Rebecca is too much of a thing and it's starting to uh, basically affect who she is and how she is and you know having to deal with Mrs. Danvers and really feels like uh, Maxim Winter is still kind of pining for her and stuff like that so that is basically the premise of this movie and so I've seen the Rebecca, the Alfred Hitchcock version before. It's been a long, long time. I remember really liking it. I think it was a great film. You know, Lawrence, Lawrence uh, Olivier was in it. He was really good. It was all that good stuff. Um, but I don't know. It, I don't remember it well enough to kind of put it against this version. But this version with the central mystery is still very similar to the Alfred Hitchcock or the book version. There's still the aura about who Rebecca was, what happened to her because she's missing. You know, why did she die? All that good stuff. And it's what I would call a good, not great, or just fine adaptation. The reason I say that is, is because it's written by Jane Goodman, who worked with Matthew Vaughn on many of his movies. And I think Jane Goodman's a very fantastic writer. I think what she does is very uh, amazing. Some of the, how she writes and how she portrays characters is always well represented and stuff like that. I think what misses in this movie is the characters themselves, I don't think they're all well-rounded. I don't think they're well put together. I think they're a little undercooked in a lot of places. I think the Lily James character feels a little too uh, girl in distress all the time. She never feels like she has a backbone in her character and maybe that's her character in general but i feel like there's something like truly missing about how she must should be much uh, like a much stronger placed woman it's not saying lily jane nobody in this movie is bad i'm not saying that but you look at her or you look at the army hammer character or you even look at kristen scott thomas there's something kind of missing about you know the placement of the characters how they represent themselves how they kind of cook themselves into the movie you know there's another character played by sam riley who plays jack uh, favell who just feels like an angsty angry man who's constantly just trying to push the fact that he was had a romantic interest with rebecca at one point but when you watch the movie and you're kind of going I, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this, but there's something like truly missing about something in the script. It just makes it for kind of a, an uneasy feeling movie that doesn't represent, you know, the material very well, but it's still fine enough that you're not going to be angry by watching it for the, the two hours and two minutes that's on screen. So I think that's just a failure of the script just not being great, that it's okay, that it feels like Netflix had an idea that they wanted this movie made and they got Jane Goodman to write it. But I, I don't know if it's maybe just not enough time or just not enough you know needing of the script itself like like a bread dough or something like that but i still think it's an entertaining movie i still think it is an enjoyable movie i think the characters are fine i think army hammer is doing as well as he can like he does in every movie it seems like every movie he's in he's always the most underutilized actor which is strange because he's been the lead actor in a lot of movies so it's it's like really strange to watch and like i said Kristen scott thomas is chewing scenery in here but it just never feels like a wholly written character. And then the conclusion, if you've seen the original Rebecca or read the book, you know exactly what this movie's going to basically entail because it follows the structure pretty well to the T. But it just doesn't feel whole. 
So, I mean, that's not necessarily, like, the worst thing in the world, but when you expect, hopefully, that this movie will at least try to live up to the material, and it really doesn't, it kind of, it makes it kind of disappointing, because I was actually looking forward to this movie based on the actors on the screen, so, um, it's a disappointment, but, you know, it's still not the worst thing I've ever seen, so it's fine. Uh, but anyways, that'll do it. That'll be my take on this movie, Rebecca. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the original movie, if you've seen it. Like I said, it's an Alfred Hitchcock movie. It's one of the, actually the more lesser-known Alfred Hitchcock movies for winning Best Picture, but it's, it's still an Alfred Hitchcock movie, so I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. But if you haven't seen it, let me know if you're excited for this uh, remake, uh, what you think uh, you're looking forward to seeing it. Uh, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like any of these videos, awesome. Hit that like button, and uh, we'll see you guys on next video. Peace out.